Legend of Total War here with part 16 of my Total War Attila Let's Play campaign as the Sassanid Empire. Alright, so previously we have um, been fighting the Armenians who betrayed me when I d attacked Aria and uh, the Garamantians. At your command. We defeated them at Gonzaga. The Armenians, that is. And I've seen that basically we need to adjust the way we spend our food. Or, and build up food. We need more food buildings. If we want, if we want to max everything out... Yeah. If I was to attack that, he's just going to go around the other side there. I've seen it happen way too many times now to, to know otherwise. So why don't we attack from this direction? And there. Got him. We fight for you, my lord. Awaiting Persia's bidding, Now you need my to lord. take these guys to out. Victory! Kill them all! So the whole point of this war was to capture Run Libya and, of course, secure Ugh. Egypt. We've done the securing of Egypt. Now we move on to capture it. Libya. Now, once we've done Libya, I want to get a peace treaty with the Garamantians and then go and take out Axum because we can't just leave them there. Because let's face it, we can't trust anyone. And no one can trust us. So we need to make sure to strike first or we'll also be the first strike. Otherwise, you get the situation that happened with Armenia where they declare war on you and you've got no forces nearby to deal with them and then they lay siege for a while. Awaiting Persia's beating, if we can get there. Good, it's now completely immune to desert attrition. That'll certainly help. Ready for orders. My lord. Okay, I don't think we've got the forces to capture this just yet. Wait for these guys to get there. So we'll need to get some more troops. Just merge these. So they can replenish faster. At your service. Public quarter in Egypt's pretty good. Okay, so we want to get rid of the carpet maker. I don't want any more carpet makers, so I'm gonna get rid of every single one of them that I've built. As much as they do make good money, I need that build slot for um uh, for, for food, so that I want to make sure that every settlement that I build can go to level 4. And, you know, prioritize the academy. Ready for battle. And that, um, that building just consumes way too much public order. Alright, so, yeah, let's go with that. Slowly make our way, well, actually, qu hopefully quickly make our th way through these technologies. I was going to revolt here. So yeah, get rid of this. Right, let's go through our settlements and see what else there is to do. So yeah, just go for food. So that we can upgrade these buildings here. It's okay to have one governor's palace because the, the 40 food consumption, that's okay because it gets 9 public order, which you kind of need.
And as, as I said before, we don't need the money. Making more money now, specifically money buildings, is... Yeah, we just don't need it. How much... Okay, so our, all of our army's expenses is 53,000. And I think there's some techs over here that'll help us reduce, yeah, um, upkeep a bit more. Have we reached the camp of um, corruption? Yeah, that's not going to get any higher than that. And I think also our king... Where is he? Yeah, he causes additional corruption and reduced public order. He's not a very good king in that regard. But he'll die of old age soon enough. I'll keep that just because it's the only wood building that we've got. And it's important that we acquire at least one of each resource. Okay, let's move on. Awaiting Persia's bidding, my lord. There's that guy that got away, but he's no threat to us. Him sitting there raiding is not going to cause enough public order for it to really matter. The Huns, yeah. Alright. Of course, we want to keep the Huns on our side as long as possible to have them clear out any other hordes and stuff that they feel like declaring war on. Then clear them out so I don't have to. It'll probably have to be me that takes out the Huns. There's just not enough strong factions left out here to, to really I bring. hit them hard. Alright. So now they're attacking at a meter. The public... Uh, the, um, the bounce of power is pretty good. It seems like they got a lot of cavalry, so our spearmen will do reasonably well against that. That being said, of course, pagan band do suck. You know, the, uh, as much as these units do suck, if we were playing as the Romans, you don't get as many troops as what the Persians do. Plus, these guys get lots of archers. Also, the Romans do have access to, a, like, a garrison building. Anyway, alright, so they're showing up from this side this time. Last time they were over here, when we fought at Gonzaga. So, I'm going to set up over here. I don't really think that defending the walls is the best way to go about it. The walls do not provide us with any defensive bonus, apart from blocking one or two shots. The thing is, when they're trying to get organized over here and we're shooting the crap out of them, that's the best way to go about it. And I also have found that putting these guys up on the walls here, they just don't really shoot very quickly, or the damage isn't very high. Tell them to fire just yet. Because we don't have unlimited ammo. Put these guys here. Put them in square formation because there's a possibility that they might go around the back here. Hit us in the rear. What am I doing? We want them to come to here. Hopefully this rain will help prevent us from burning down our own town. And 
just keep a few back here, just in case. Sogdi and Warriors, save them for later. Or just keep them in reserve. Because they're only good against infantry. They're, they're not going to be any good against the cavalry at all. And you come over this side here, gain the attention of their cavalry, and we'll go around this way. Let them get shot by these towers. We all good? All good. Let's do this. Time to shoot. Took too long. Get back. What are these? Black mid scouts. So they're like the upgraded version of these. We're doing a bit of bonus damage to them just before the battle starts. A little bit of a skirmish. These fuckers are bloody chasing us all the way up there. Here. I probably could actually turn around and fight them. But these these guys here are not really great melee units, especially considering the settlement's a little bit damaged. Jeez, they only took out two of them. Seeming like they're being pretty inaccurate. Then again, I know that the camel riders would have quite a lot of health, so even if it gets hit by a shot, they probably don't die immediately. It does seem like they're being very inaccurate. Attacking our general! Pagan back! At sting! Those Kurdish archers, they're gonna sting a bit. Could fire back at them, but actually, let's just see if we can. Yeah, they've actually got a good shot from there. Okay, good. They're getting shot to shit here. Might just get them on the move. Since if they're gonna die, they might as well 
die fighting in melee rather than getting shot to shit. Get over here before this gets destroyed, that would be just great. Just give us a few more seconds with it. Arminian's tower has been totally destroyed. There we go, recapturing it and get rid of these potion skirmishes. Then he needs to go in. The enemy have rallied their units. Things are looking pretty good so far, I think. Loads of kills. Needed over here now. Not really focusing on taking that, that down. I figured they might send someone around here, which is why we left one guy here, just in case. Plus, we could always just send them back. Can't let them capture this. Oh, they're aiming for the Soldier Warriors, of course. Men have broken and are fleeing! Most of those cavalry use flaming shot. What happened there? How'd they just instant die? It's okay if they shoot the archers, they've, they've outlasted their usefulness out here. Our guys ended up dying. At least they managed to give us a little bit more time, time with this tower. Fucking cowards. the back here. Back, hit them in the rear. Ugh, I really would have been great to put them up against um, cavalry, but we just didn't get the chance. That's not cavalry, infantry. Cavalry. Unit has rallied. 
Not sure how well they'll do against these Persian cataphracts, but I can't let them rear charge me. melee but there's not that many of them just don't let them you know, charge our rear here looks like we might win this but only by a small margin okay, that's all we ever need to win a battle bot Persian mounted bowmen. Because Kurdish archers actually have decent melee ability. Come on, you cowards. Fight. Fight better. Get over there, fight those Kurdish archers. Why are you guys having such a hard time taking out all those camel riders? Alright, oh, that be like. Probably doesn't help that these towers are probably doing more damage to us than them, because friendly fire in this game is ridiculous. Oh, we're actually winning? Didn't doesn't feel like we're winning, but fuck if they say we're winning, fine, I'll take it. I really don't think the battle is turning in our favour. See, look, all the guys are just running away now. They ran. Enemy units have returned to the battle. Everything is relying on us here, winning. But they're just not doing a great job. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. Stop them from coming over here. Could they shattered. If we're going to win, this is going to be by the tiniest of margins. Shooting at the archers, not my. I need my guys over here to be in good, sh good shape. Fall back. Don't break on me, motherfucker. You 
Fucking cowards. Whistling shot. Ah, oh, is that what they're doing to us? Kill that enemy general. We kill him, we win. Close one. That's all it. What we needed it though. Just needed them to, you know, go away, not burn down our settlement, or even occupy it. They probably would have just sacked it though. The AI love to sack. I doubt this settlement's going to come under attack any time. Oh, hang on, there's a rebellion right there. Well, I'll send an army to go and sort them out. Surely, my no. You take this out. Kill them all. Make haste, man. My lord, at your command. Come on, you <laughs> slippery shits. There was no angle I probably could have done to. Uh, if I had attacked them from this angle over here, there would be a. Ready for yeah, we just can't reach them now. I would trouble the world for Persia. You slippery shits. Oh well, you're still gonna lose doing. For you, my lord. Laying siege to the settlement. The yeah, they went hard a bunch of mercenaries. Area. Not going to save you. And great glory. Ready for battle. Got all of Armenia. Ready for battle. We fight for you, my lord. Hmm. How, what's our relations with the Huns? Well, they don't like us. Deteriorating. Some treaties certainly help. Maybe if I give them some tribute, that might. Please don't bother with meaningless pleasantries. Might help a little bit. Talk of meat, not honey. So that provided how much? Gifts given to the Hun plus ten. Okay. If I give them just a few more gifts, so that's two thousand. That that's for ten. This is for eight thousand. How much does that provide? The gods and my people. Twenty-five. 
but the the other one would have been more efficient. I reckon it should be more efficient the larger the gift that you give. See, to provide twenty five public or um, relation with small gifts, that would cost. So it's like three of them, six thousand, and that would provide thirty. So it's it's way more efficient. Just just do this more. Two thousand is nothing to me. I just don't want them to bother me right now. Give them lots of small gifts. Cool, so that'll make them like us. What are the things that they hate about us? Well, great power, cultural past treaties. Okay, well, it's mostly just great power. If I was to go to war with the Eastern Roman Empire, they'd like that. What if you were to marry her? And you, we'll give you a dowry. How does that sound? Fuck. Not paying you that much. I'll give you 10,000 as a dowry. How does that sound? Low. It's fucking deep shit. Lucky I've got the money, and you don't need the money. Otherwise, I wouldn't bother with it. And now that we've arranged a marriage, does that do anything? Diplomatic marriage with Huns, yeah. Plus 20. Okay. means that Attila should be somewhere in here. There he is. Attila's in our family tree. There you go. Ready for orders. Besieging settlement. Let them cower before our might. How may I serve? Hopefully all of our guys can get there. Yep. So four armies versus two, but also Ready they've got garrison. No problem. We fight for you, my lord. We fight for you, my lord. Any artillery here so we can take Tilbice? Nope. Ready for orders. Ready for battle. March! On the move, my lord. Are you ready to serve? Yeah, I was right. See, ruined Oracle of Amun Ray. Pub public order plus one faction wide. Good. I don't know if there's any more wonders like that. But hell, that was good. Okay, now what? So minus three food. I reckon if we demolish that down a level, um, not only would that improve public order, but actually give us more food. Oh, that's right. This doesn't here use food. All right, well, keep building that up. I'll probably end up demolishing it at some point, just because it's just not a very useful building. Oh, 
oh, in this region here, this provides quite a lot of public order, but we might actually be better off going with the fruit dryer, which provides lots of food, because that loss of food is, is what's really killing us. And that extra food provided, we can justify then upgrading this to level 4. Because once this is all repaired, that'll actually provide most of the food. And then we'll build another food building here. So food will be fine. Hopefully the Huns just keep going out there, just doing their own thing. At your command. Just leave me the fuck out of it. Come on, take him out. Take out that horde. Take out both of them. There's a few ruins over here. Maybe I should go and claim them before somebody else does. Although, actually, letting them claim them is not a bad thing. But they just don't do it. The AI is fine with just leaving ruins everywhere. It's probably only a matter of time before Macron declares war on us. And then again, it's only a matter of time before I declare war on them. any artillery here, but it's fine, just we I did. I'll just send three armies this time. Actually, yeah, because this, this province is probably going to have a revolt at some point. Ready for battle. How may I serve you? As you command. How did I go to end, end up going to war with Africa? Oh, they're a puppet state. Okay, well that'd be why. They actually really like me. Just thinking, if I want to go to war with Axum, I need to cancel these agreements. What other factions could I possibly get some trade from? Speak your speech, so that I may go to the baths and wash away today's stench. No, not worth it. I mean, I could try for a smaller amount, but they'd probably just cancel on us. And also, if I do an agreement with them, the, uh, the Huns will probably hate me for it because they hate Western Romans. Anyway. I do not need more money. We're not even spending half of our income. 
We fight for you, my lord. Alright, so I might take you and go and occupy this, because what I'm thinking is we'll eventually capture these regions here, Macedonia and Dardania, and this is where we'll build our military compounds. So I might as well colonize this now so that I can get started. It's going to require one, four, seven, so sorry, one, five, five plus twelve growth. So it's going to take a little while. So let's get started on that now. Public order here is fine. So yeah, we're rooting on the Huns for the Huns to take these guys out. Let's take out Armenia. Might need to wait a few more turns before attacking. Um, before attacking Aaron, just because. I don't want to take a reliability hit. God damn it, they just run away so far. But, you know, we got them this time. We fight for you, my lord. Besieging settlement. One army is all we need here. Ready for orders. How may I serve Persia? Actually, you stand here and in camp. Because I'll need him command. to actually stay there. Set up to watch. Ready for orders. Slovenians all the way down here. We drove them down south. Okay. Let me do that next turn. Alright, let's do some construction and then move on. Or in some cases, deconstruction. Got a decent amount of food here, 70. Enough to build one of these, not enough for both. So go with the one to make sure these guys have walls. Once this is done here, which will take a little while, that'll provide us with enough food to get that to max. And that'll secure the province. So build, uh, build food here so that we can get rid of this public order problem from food public order is still stable though ok I think we'll have enough food for that So we'll probably see our income fall down a little bit over the next few turns. But that's okay, because we're trading money for stability.
And I think at this point we've reached our max corruption. So every settlement that we capture is not going to increase our corruption any further. Okay, just leave that be. Actually, we've got enough to upgrade one of them. We should do this because it'll provide more growth. We just need these, these regions to grow faster. It was a long time ago we started um, fixing up those regions. It takes a, it takes a fucking long time to grow. Alright, moving on. It is an honor to serve you. We fight for you, my lord. I'd finish him off. Oh, they're raiding near us. It's a, it's supposed to like us now. We may need to throw a few more gifts their way. We basically just bribe saying, could you please not attack me? Because, again, I'll just reiterate, there is no benefit for me to be at war with the Huns. And my sort of war philosophy is, I don't like being in wars that I don't see a profit in. What's the point in sending my people to their death for, for no gain? The only people, that, in fact, neither side has anything to gain. It's just the Huns love burning things down. So, yeah, they still hate us, but it's improving. I'll give them a few more there gifts, because obviously it's a... It does deteriorate over time. And in all honesty, this amount of money is nothing to me. I'm going to leave and give them a less efficient gift. Just for good measure. The diplomatic marriage with the Huns seems to go down and deteriorates as well. So, not very valuable. We fight for you, my if they are going to attack us, we need to make sure we're in as good shape as possible. We haven't quite replenished yet. But now we've got some Kurdish archers there. Oh, what was I thinking? I don't want these fucking pagan band. Get rid of them. A noble cause requires noble men. So much better. Took a while for that to grow. Oh, battle! We fight for you, my lord. Okay, so we need to take Orgula before we try and get peace with them. But if I have a look here, we're in pretty good shape, and we could we could continue on into Triple Turner. Tripolitana. At your command. Could send. Yeah, it could get down here with those two armies. But I don't know if they'll win. Ready for orders. Oh well, let's find out. Besieging settlement. Okay, that's pretty good odds just considering that's just the first we army. This settlement for you, my lord. Kill them all. Okay. So that 
takes out another faction and gives us full control over the province. Ready for battle. Check. Yeah, we can convert it. Good. We fight for you, my lord. Okay, so the, for the time being, we'll give the Garamantians peace. Do not try my patience with a dull tongue. My torturer has a collection of dullard's parts. And then we'll cancel our agreements with Axum. My master Secure Libya's the public order. Then make our way over here. And, your honorable people. and declare war on them. So that would have dropped our income again. We're down to 70,000 now, but that's okay. I don't think we need the die tubs. Wait, do we have dies anywhere? Let me just check. We're producing 80, so we're producing them from somewhere else. I don't know where, and it doesn't matter. At your Good public order here, secure. My lord. You have further orders? Now, if I was to declare war on Aaron now, does it let me know if Before this is... Before you say anything, know that I have an amulet against we, the evil... We army. only cancelled the alliance recently, so let's just, let's just hold off on it for the time being. Give my guys a little bit more chance to heal. And also, some time for us to fix up this province. So that'll be a food building. Just have to wait until that's a bit more finished. Actually, no, just um, with that, we don't want the gold. Gold causes too many problems. Good amount of food's coming in now, but we have public order issues. Largely just due to instability. But that, that'll that sort itself out. Also, with all these farms being built, that will cause some public order problems, so let's... Order that. That'll help with um, public order. You can get two of these, actually. And that'll help with, as well. Still not quite enough food to upgrade this. But we're getting there. Control. Moving on. At your service. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, we'll just try and maintain public order here before we head over to Axum with all four armies. Okay, all good. Income increased a little bit. I guess that helps. Alright, so... We've got a rebellion here, which is probably actually a good thing, because that'll get rid of the instability. I will travel the world of Persia. At once! Oh, we took a bit of damage on that. At your command, my lord. Okay, easily replaced. We've got a lot of fixing up to do here, though. Might just exempt it from taxation. Just rack up a nice bill of public order. Anyway, while it while it's hasn't got enough food to support itself, makes sense to do that. Both of those will be food, food, town commons, right, okay, so, uh, grand palace, food building, probably will need to build a food importer. The yuck child thing would be better though. I'll leave that for the time being, but yeah, I may want to get rid of that eventually. Just see how things play out. It's a good decent amount of food in here now. Upgrade that. It's just this. Don't have enough food, I think, to justify building that up. Because it. I don't know why the temples require so much, considering they don't even provide that much of a bonus. I don't think that's very balanced at all. I want to build another plaza. Yeah, get, getting rid of the uh, the thread maker, whatever it was called, that freed up a lot of extra public order. So now that we can build build the food here, and then upgrade these other things to to provide even more public order. Yeah, 
You know what, I'm just thinking, maybe I should build one of these provinces which is full on military building. Just like, consume food like crazy, and then just not tax it. Just every everything about this province should just be military. Just no money, no nothing, and just not tax the province. Because that way, you know, even if it's minus a thousand food, it doesn't, it doesn't take it away from here, and it doesn't apply there. They have to find their own food, basically. Just have a region that's just so fucked, which you couldn't possibly tax it even if you wanted to. And that's where we get our military from. Might just wait one more turn still. Not in any rush to attack them. Ready for orders. Let's move on. Awaiting Persia's bidding. Okay, we've also reached an hour, so we'll um go through the end turn, end the uh, and uh, then end the episode there. There, I need to sleep. The Ringians are dead. Good, I feel like the Huns are responsible for that. Assassination plot. Yeah, better prepare. That's it, Huns. Keep going out there and taking them out. Alright, with that, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe, part 17 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.